be. Sir Topham Hatt was having dinner with the Duke and Duchess. The station master telephoned him and asked Sir Topham Hatt to come to Knapford right away. Thomas's traction rods were trembling. His wheels wobbled. He knew he now had to tell Sir Topham Hatt everything about Hero. Sir Topham Hatt listened. Hero is an old and important engine. I didn't want him scrapped. That's why we tried to fix him ourselves. Sir Topham Hatt stared at Thomas. Thomas was worried. He was now sure Sir Topham Hatt would scrap Hero. Did you say Hero? Yes, sir. You mean the master of the railway? Yes, sir. Oh, he's terribly famous. Famous? He's the master of the railway. Why did you think I would scrap the master of the railway, Thomas? Why didn't you ask me? Because I was silly, sir, and worried. So I tried to fix him alone. You're not alone anymore. We must help Hero at once. Send him to the Sodor Steamworks. Victor will have his funnel bright and pistons pumping in no time. Thomas was so happy he wanted to whistle and wish. Thank you, sir, thank you. What about Spencer? He needs help too. I told Spencer not to leave the summer house, and he did. So Spencer must wait his turn for help after Hero. Hero, I've seen Sir Topham Hatt. He knows you're the master of the railway. You're going to be sent to the Sodor Steamworks, not the Smelter's Yard. Hooray for Thomas! Hooray for Hero! The next day, Thomas and Percy heaved and hauled Hero to the Sodor Steamworks. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting. Welcome, Hero. It's a pleasure to meet you after so long. Thank you, sir. I thank you very much. And I thank you for Thomas. Thomas did his best. Victor will make sure that you will soon be master of the railway once more. Of course, sir. Anything for you. I will do my very, very best. We all will. Sorry, boss! <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Very slippy hook. So I see. Don't worry, hero. Victor is the best. A few days later, 